Okay guys, so Deep Woken is finally here. Now that's a good thing, but when you're first starting off, the combat is really challenging, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get out of the depths so you don't lose your shit like I did my first life. Now let's say you're fighting someone that's really strong like I am right here, and then you end up dying, and it just so happened to be your last life. Well, at least now it's not that hard to come back, because this method will work 100% of the time. All right, so once you lose your last life, it'll take you to the starting screen, just click any button and then it'll take you to the depths. And the depths is basically your last shot you have to making it back to the living. So if you end up dying here, your whole character gets wiped. But that's not a problem. You don't have to fight anyone once you're here. You just have to look around for the giant walls and head straight to them. Now depending where you spawn, it'll go a lot faster because if you spawn in a good area, you could see the walls right from where you are. Now I didn't spawn in a good area, but I wasn't that far from them, so it didn't take me long to find the walls. So if you happen to spawn in the same area that I did, then just go ahead and follow exactly where I go. Or if you spawn somewhere else, just look around until you see the walls. So when you enter this town, go straight till you can make a right. Now it doesn't matter where you go. The goal is just to stay close to the wall and follow it till you can climb one of the buildings to see where you are. But be careful when you go on top because there's guards that will call angels to kill you if they see you. Now don't do what I did and completely fail at climbing this. But just go to one that's easy to climb. And then where you want to go after you can see where you're at is to a building that has a roof that's tall enough to jump to the wall. Because the place you need to go to leave the depth is actually located in the middle of this town. And it's a lot easier to get there if you just use the wall to go to the middle. Alright, so now that you're at the wall, it's basically easy from here on out. Because all you have to do is follow the wall all the way to the middle. And then you could be back in the living world in the next two minutes. Now even if they catch you while you're on the wall, just keep running. Because as long as you're doing parkour, the angels can't get you. They'll probably hit you here and there, but you have enough health to make it to the middle. And once you run far enough away from them, they'll stop chasing you. Alright, so if you made it this far, what you're going to want to do is just go straight and then take a right. Now there's no more guards after this point because that was the last guard on the wall. So now you just got to survive going down. So you're just going to want to follow exactly what I do. So you're going to jump to right here and then you're going to want to climb down this wall right here. So you run, jump, dash, and then climb to avoid taking any more damage. Then you're going to want to drop down right underneath, climb right about at this spot to avoid damage. And then you're going to want to jump on this tree and start heading down and then go this way to head towards the entrance. Now once you make it to the entrance, just keep running. Don't talk to nobody, don't look at nobody. Just keep running until you see the entrance to the elevator. Then you pull the lever with E and don't move. Just stand there until you get all the way to the top. Once you make it all the way to the top, Odium will start talking to Emity. Odium calls you ugly, then Emity calls you detestable. But then Odium ends up saying just to get you out of here. And then if this is your first time leaving the depths, you'll actually get a card called Depths Connection. This card allows you to draw ether a lot easier from the surrounding air into your reservoir. Which means your ether will now regen faster than what it used to. Now if this video helped you guys out or you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment any questions you guys may have down below for me. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I upload more videos like these so you guys can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.